And welcome back. This is Bella Scuba with another StarCraft II commentary. I am the Red Terran in the Southwest up against Himmler. I, I thought he was dead. That's a horrible name. I'm sorry. He is the Blue Protoss in the Northeast. The map is Shakuro's Plateau. Well, again, we're on uh, Shakur's Plateau, and here I forgot to say good luck, have fun, so I quickly said it once I realized my mistake. Um, really, we're, we're looking at a, a map here in terms of Protoss versus Terran that I think is pretty balanced. Um, you know, the, the fast expansion is really for the Zerg players. It's not really for the the Protoss or the, the Terran players as much. I mean, fast expansions always help out in the long term. Well, the, the mid-game, you know, about the 10-minute the mark, they really start to show how good they can be. And I do want to point something out here. This is a gateway going up well before... Um, I send, there we go, my um, SCV out to do uh, the barracks. Uh, that is something I wanted to point out, and I have neglected to before. Gateways always should come up faster than barracks. So if you've got a barracks on the way, and you don't see anything in the base, just maybe a pylon here, um, who knows what kind of build he's going for. Explore as much as you can, get as much information as you can, because it's not something standard, typically. Uh, just a quick little tidbit for you, uh, for all you Terran players, when you go against Protoss. But of course, I send my SCV up, and what do I find? A complete block off here. I mean, this I, I've never seen this against a Terran player by a Protoss player. I've i have had Terran players block me off before. But this is so unexpected that I don't even check my SCV when he is stuck there. He did Chrono Boost that first Zealot, and as soon as I found out, hey, I'm blocked here, that Zealot did pop out and was able to kill me, and my SCV twitched until he died. Back to Colonel Boosting the Nexus for Himmler. I do have my refinery up. Uh, reactor on the way. I did go for the supply depot first uh, before I went for the second barracks because there has been the uh, past couple times I did uh, get supply locked um, after when I kept on trying to build the SCVs, which I'm neglecting to do here. There we go. So, slight alteration to my build um, before I was getting that second barracks first, but now I am going for that supply depot first, even though it does, um, well, it's it's still iffy. I'm, I'm still back and forth on which one I should do first. I'm probably going to stick with the barracks, but because in past games I had um, gotten the supply depot out a little bit late, and I did end up supply locking myself, especially after this reactor came out. You know what? I'm going to stick with the, su the supply depot first. That because of because of the reactor on that first barracks, um, I do want those marines out at once, and I don't want um, to have a delay due to the supply lock. And I am getting that third supply depot up. Meanwhile. He actually, let's see if I can find that here. Sorry about that, guys. No. What, what happened to that pylon? How far back was it? Sorry, guys. I will find it. Oh, he just, what, what happened to it? Did he destroy it? Yes, he did. Look at that. He he went for the block off, which worked against my SCV, but I did see everything that he had built, but then he ended up having to destroy it anyways. That is crazy. What is going on? Cybernetics Core, two more gateways on the way. I've never seen that. That does count. Yes, it does. So that lost pylon counts as units lost. So that 100 uh, resources there is is only the pylon because he still doesn't even know where I am. It's not like he sent a couple uh, 
probes my way that got killed. So here we go. Three gateway into a cybernetics core into a forge. Um, and just now the first gas coming up. So he is um, doing a build that I've never seen before. It does look like a mass zealot build. I'm not exactly sure, and here we go, he's trying to replace that pylon along with another one because he is supply locked. Meanwhile, marines are coming out. Uh, finally, a marauder is on the way, and I am getting an engineering bay to watch these rocks. That is pretty much my build on this map, um, although I should uh, try to alter it for Zerg players. I always seem to want to alter it for Zerg players because, to me, Protoss and Terran play very similarly in terms of what I should attack. Or at least from what I can see, Zerg players always, though, it's always a little different, so I want to have a different strategy for them. He's chrono boosting and getting as many zealots as he can. Um, he does have the forge up and is researching ground level, ground weapons level 1, so it looks like he's going for a zealot push here. Um, I, I can't say that I agree with that on this map. It is so large and he still doesn't even know where I am. Does he? N no, he doesn't. He has no idea where I am. But he's got all these zealots out. And, yeah, he's got the lead in the army count, but not by much. By the time these zealots got all the way over to my base, I would have more than enough to deal with them. And I did not go for a mass zealot build. Um, but, yeah, he's pretty much stopped with the tech. He's, he's got the cybernetics core out. He's got the forge on the way just massing pylons and zealots now. Um, I'm not even sure why he got the, the gas. He is chrono boosting the, the weapons upgrade, so here we go. He's going for the push here with just mass zealots. Meanwhile, I've already passed him in the army count. I can't say that I know what's going on. And the uh, probe on the way, you always want to kill that probe because he is probably going to lay down a proxy pylon. Doesn't look like he has it scouted exactly where he wants to go yet, but down he goes. So he ran straight from my base, even though he didn't know where I was. And I am able... I mean, here I definitely notice, hey, these guys are doing a lot more damage than they usually would. So, I, I, you know, if you can see it, I am trying to rapidly select them, and I do finally see, hey, they've got upgrade level 1 on attack. And now Stalkers are out, so he's transitioned into Stalkers from the Mass Zealots, and I'm moving in because I assumed that was all he had, and I was pretty much right. Uh, pretty much a gut instinct for that. He's trying to Chrono Boost, uh, never got the Warp Gate, so he is stuck on the gateways, and trying to Chrono Boost those Zealots as fast as he can. I check, make sure, no, nope, there's, there, there's no expansion here, it wasn't all in zealot push what what was he doing sentry is out um that sentry of course could lay down a force field and stop me and allow these stalkers to get some easy pot shots off waiting for reinforcements and then moving up he was going to go for an expansion but that will have to wait sentry goes down before he can play any role in the game and he ggs and i figured oh my gosh this is such an early gg but he really had nothing left no army um really you know two zealots coming out but that wasn't going to be enough against these guys and that was it um not the best game, but let me tell you why I gave this, uh, why I chose to commentate this one, because this marked a turning point for me. Because of this win right here, I got promoted to the Silver Ladder. It had been a long time coming, in my opinion, um, but this was the game that did it for me, so I wanted to show you guys that. Wanted to throw a little mini celebration. Woo. So, uh very interesting strategy, though, looking back. Um, I, I can't say I agree with that. I mean, you, typically you go for the four gate, and then, you know, if he had avoided the, the cybernetics core, stopped mining the gas, it would have been a lot better for him. Um, but that, that quick ground weapons upgrade, level one, did do a lot of damage, but it was just a little bit too late. And that cost him the game and let me get promoted to silver 
so I'm happy about that. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed the game. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Bye.